we welcome you. We are still on our week of speed. And this morning we are activating divine speed. So if you have done what you need to do in terms of populating the kingdom of God, I know... <clears throat> that you have invited uh, more than 10 or 15 people to the broadcast and that you have also copied the link into your timeline on your Facebooks and everywhere where you know that you need to chat to people, you have done what needs to be done in Jesus' mighty name. So Holy Spirit, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, that you are prepared to dish out to us, oh God, the meal that you would have us consume this morning in Jesus' mighty name. And we are ready, oh God, to activate divine speed this morning. We are going to our next level of divine speed in Jesus' mighty name. And Holy Spirit, we ask, oh God, that you breathe over the service of God breathe over every single person that is seeing us over this morning for the first time oh God in Jesus mighty name good morning family good morning to those who are coming in as you are coming in we are activating divine speed thank you Jesus thank you Holy Spirit that in this week where we just started with power and glory my God that we still manifesting the speed that we require in the last few days of the year we will not be cut short our expectations shall not be cut short and we shall continue to to accelerate and we shall continue to get our goods delivered in the mighty name of jesus christ god bless you as i believe you can now all see me as well so let's get into this thing hallelujah 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 thank you jesus Holy Spirit, we thank you. As I was saying yesterday, there is what you do as a person and there is what God does. And there's what ministering angels can do. And there is also what heaven can do. Amen, somebody. If you are typing in the comment section, please help me type activate divine speed. Activating divine speed. So there is what you do by your own strength. There is what you do as a person in your wisdom. There is also what you do as a person by your own calculations. There is what you can do by the ideas that you think you have and that you think you have to manifest. But there is only that portion that is reserved for God. There is something that God can do to breathe over whatever you have calculated, whatever you have planned to give you that blessing and that nod. So what am I saying this morning? There is that portion that needs divinity when divinity meets the speed that you require hallelujah there is that thing that only god can do so this morning as we kick off to pray we're saying god do that thing which only you can do in jesus mighty name do that which is beyond my calculations do that which is beyond my idea my plans my business plan my proposal my strategy do that which is beyond can somebody open up your mouth and pray to our father and say god do that which is beyond my god do that which is beyond. Thank you for those who are sharing and clicking on the on the broadcast screen. We are doing what we are we, we're seeking this morning to, to do what is beyond. Hallelujah. So I want to talk to the people this morning who are saying I've been experiencing slow growth. Some people might be saying this morning, I've not even been experiencing any growth, no growth, slow growth. In spite of all your wonderful ideas, in spite of all your wonderful efforts, in spite of all your smart calculations, you may be the smartest cookie in the block and you, you might have thought this thing is going to work out because you are the best quantity surveyor around. But what you need to know that for a change of story to manifest, for a change of story to manifest, manifest undeniably so it is by the power of God and the power of God is that which brings acceleration on your plan so God I'm praying that there shall be an acceleration on this plan there shall be an acceleration on this plan in the name of Jesus we are seeking that thing that God brings divinity into divinity into the path of our efforts our efforts must be uh, must be uh, anointed with divinity this morning hallelujah are we checking together amen somebody thank you so much dr l for sharing 
Do that which is beyond my father. Do that which is beyond what I can do. Do that which is beyond my own ideas. As wonders, as wonderful as I think I am, as smart as I think I am, as intelligent as you may think you are, as well read as you may think you are, as well traveled as you may think you are, as much as you might think that you are street smart and you know the market, but still you are not making headway as you should until divinity is activated. And that is why this morning, oh God, we are asking, activate the divinity in this thing. So if you are in any of those categories that I've mentioned where you say, I've experienced slow growth or I've experienced no growth and past the fortune, it's now the 20th of December. That should tell you something that as human beings, we are limited as human beings. Naturally, we are limited in, in scope. We are limited in understanding. We are limited in the knowledge that we have. We are limited in the wisdom that we have. And that is why we need that oomph of divinity. Amen. Somebody. But there is one person that is not having those limitations. There is one person who does not get limitations from wisdom. No, he's not limited by knowledge. He's not, not limited by space. He's not limited by time. There is that one person and that one person is God. And God, we ex- invite you and say, Lord, where we are limited, come in and step in. We are praying this morning to connect with you so that the divinity can enter the space. So as we are praying this morning, this is a prayer of a contact. I am making contact. Somebody declare it and say, I am making contact with divinity. I am making contact with the power of God. I am making contact with the power of God. And so that it can be deployed in every area of my life in Jesus mighty name. Any area in my life that needs divine acceleration. I am calling on the contact of God right now. I'm using every, I'm dropping every name. I'm dropping everything I can do. This thing is a divine connection. It's a divine contact. It's a divine matchup. Somebody has to understand understand that this one I have to break the rules I have to break protocols here because I need the divine acceleration hallelujah so I urge you that this morning as we are praying in the few minutes that we're going to be praying do not joke with these prayer points that we are making this morning do not joke because the progress of your life is dependent on it by all means necessary somebody say by all means necessary I am moving with divine speed I am moving with divine speed with all means necessary by all means necessary whatever preposition you can put in there whatever it takes divine speed must meet up with your efforts divine speed must meet up with your plans in jesus mighty name hallelujah father as we begin to pray we ask oh god lord give me wings to fly very easy lord give me wings to fly god bless you and so good to see you Bring to bear the power of God in your situation as you ask him this morning and say, God, give me wings to fly. I need your power for speed. I need your power for progress in my life. I need your power for the endeavors that I've embarked on in my life. Give it to me this morning. I ask, oh God, give me wings to fly. And Father, as I continue to pray, I ask, oh God, that you will carry every single person that is under the sound of my voice, including myself, oh God, our families, oh God. Give us, carry us on in eagle's wings. We carry us on eagle's wings so that we're not flying with this ordinary breath. Carry us on eagle's wings. Let us go high above. We know that when you have carried us, oh God, When we are on your back, nothing can ever touch us. Nothing can make us to be stuck. Somebody declare in that comment section and say, I can never be stuck. I can never be stuck. I'm flying on eagle's wings. I'm carried by God. God has got me on his back. He's got me on his back. He's got my back. I am flying on eagle's wings. I can never be stuck in Jesus' mighty name. You have to fly at a dimension where you are not competing. There is no traffic in the sky. 
There is no traffic. This is not a highway situation. This is a sky situation. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 40, 31, they that wait on the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. Talk to me, somebody. I am the one that is waiting upon the Lord. I am the one that is mounting up with wings like an eagle. I am the one this morning, oh God, that has come to declare that I shall run and not be weary. I shall walk and not faint. Father, fainting is not for me. Fainting, I'm not the faint-hearted. I'm not the weakling in this, in this mix. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask that you hold our hands. Somebody is praying right now. Hold my hand, Jesus. Hold my hand and pull me up. Pull me up from the dust. Pull me up from the miry clay. Pull me up from the muddy path. Pull me up from the pit. Pull me up from the grave that I was about to spiral into. My God, whatever is retarding progress in my life, pull me out of that mess. Pull me out of my limitations, oh God, with speed. He brought me up. Also out of a horrible pit, says the psalmist. He says, he brought me out of a horrible pit. Whatever horrible pit that they put you in, you are coming out of it in Jesus' mighty name. He's setting your feet upon a solid rock. He establishes your goings. If he establishes your goings, that means you are backed up by heaven itself. Oh my God, I pray this morning that you grant me accelerated speed. Grant me divine progress. Grant me, grant me accelerated speed and divine progress. Divine speed. Accelerated speed. Divine progress. Accelerated progress in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says he makes my feet like hinds feet. He sets me upon high places. I hope you are ready to get into the high places. He is setting your feet up like hinds feet. He's setting you up on high places. Father, set me up on a high place. I'm tired of being the underdog. I'm tired of looking like I'm going no slowly, going nowhere to happen very fast. My God, set me up on high places. Set my feet up on hinds feet. Give me a spring in my step. Give me a spring in my feet. Balance me on my path so that people don't think I'm shaking. Undeniable. Set me up, oh God. I need a spring in my step. Father, as we continue to submit ourselves to your wisdom, oh God, we resign ourselves to the judgment and wisdom of the Spirit of God. You spirit of insight, you spirit of knowledge, you judge this situation and you see to it that everything goes well. Oh Lord, grant me speed. Grant me divinity in this speed journey. Father, 2023 is not over yet. Oh Lord, where you lead, I know it's a straight path. It's not a crooked path. I'm not going to stumble. I'm not going to step on stones. Everything is going to go smoothly. Lead me on the path of peace. Lead me on the path of progress in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh my God. Lead me on a straight path. My path shall be a path of peace between now and 24 and beyond. My path shall be a path of progress between now and 24. Oh Lord, teach me this morning. Teach me. My spirit is open and I'm, I have a teachable spirit. Somebody's saying that in the, in the crowd right now. I say, God, teach me. Teach me to yield to your spirit, not to resist your spirit. Teach me not to be argumentative. Teach me to, to be led by your spirit, to learn to go with where the spirit says. The wind of the spirit is blowing and where the wind of the spirit is, is, is blowing is exactly where I'm going. Yes, oh God. Teach me so that I can learn. I'm going with this wind. I'm riding in the direction of the wind of the spirit. Somebody declare it and pray. Father, I'm riding on the wind of the spirit. I'm blow wherever the wind of the spirit is blowing. That is exactly where I'm going in Jesus name. 
What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. Father, I'm gathered with intercessors this morning who are saying we fear the Lord. And therefore we go with exactly the way you teach us so that we can be led in the right path. The path that you have chosen for us, oh God. Not the argumentative path that we want to fight. Father, wherever you go, we decree and we declare is the way. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Father, wherever Jesus goes, that is exactly where we are going in Jesus' mighty name. Where you will tread, God, is exactly where we will tread. And we know that, God, you don't just go and, and, and enter into muddy paths. There is no mud where God walks. Where he's treading, there is no mud. There is nothing holding you down where God treads. Therefore, I'm tracking there. Where you are tracking, God, there is nothing that can slow me down. I'm not going to sink into a muddy swamp. There is nothing slowing me down and there is nothing keeping me down. Oh, nothing can keep me down. Is somebody echoing this? I want to see it on the comment section so I can see that you feel it like I prayed. Yes, order my steps in your ways, oh God. The steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. Father, show me the way that I may walk in it in Jesus' mighty name. Show me the way that I may walk in it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, the Bible says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you shall go. And you will guide me. So, Father, I stand and, and I activate Psalms 32. And I say, teach me. Instruct me. I'm not beyond instruction. What do I know? I know that I'm not beyond instruction. Guide you. Guide me. Guide my eyes to see the right path. Oh, Shakura Bahasata Kadiaba. Are we trekking together, YouTube? Are we trekking together, Facebook? Guide me, guide my path, guide my path in the name of Jesus. I will instruct you in the way that you should go. I will give you the instruction and I will teach you on how you are going to go about this thing. Father, as we continue to pray, Lord, we ask you. You are our righteousness. You are the one that has made us to be in right standing with you. And therefore, God, I believe we are qualified as PVP. Every family member here represented. Every intercessor, every warrior, everyone who's seeing us for the first time, oh God. That you're going to anoint us for speed. You are going to anoint us for progress by the power of the Spirit of God in Jesus' name. We are being anointed for progress. Somebody declare it. Anoint me for speed. Anoint me for progress. Anoint me for speed. Anoint me for progress. Anoint me for speed. In the mighty name of Jesus. And of the Gadites, they separated themselves unto David into the hold to the wilderness, men of might and men of war fit for the battle that could handle shield and buckler, whose faces were like faces of lions. And we're as swift as the rose upon the mountains. Father, I'm getting up. Anoint me for speed. I'm ready. I'm fit for battle. I'm not, I'm not giving up. I'm fit for battle. Lord, let every one of my efforts yield. There must be an effort yield. Those of you who are, is it uh, accountants or you are a uh, 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 You've studied this BCOM thing. I've often heard you speak about a yield. Is it yielding? Something must yield. My efforts must yield. There must be a return on investment. Let them produce the desired result. Even beyond the expected results, I need a yield. It ma there must be a yield. There must be a yield. Let my efforts yield. That's your prayer. Let my efforts yield. God, 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 God of heaven, God of divinity, God who makes all things fast. This one, I need a fast charge. 
Lord, give the angel called speed. That angel called speed, that angel called progress, give them charge over my life this morning. They must have charge over my life to make sure they bring to pass the speed of God. God's speed. Somebody type God's speed. God's speed. On my way, God speed on my life, God speed on my work, God speed. I need the God speed. The God speed is the good speed. Therefore, angel of speed, angel of progress, what are you waiting for? Give me the God speed that I need this morning. I need God speed. Oh, yes, you need God speed. Thank you, Jesus. The servant of Abraham says, Oh, God. Lord God of my master, Abraham, I pray thee, send me good speed this day. Somebody please pray this thing out. Send me good speed today. Show kindness to your servant. Show kindness to fortune. Show kindness to NY. Show kindness to Tantan. Show kindness to Dumi. Show kindness to habit. Oh God, give me good speed. As I speak, somebody was counting you out and, and, and starting to change because things started good in your relationship. Things were well, things were smooth when you had the money. But when the money slowed down, they started doubting you. Father, anybody who has been doubting my validity, my legitimacy, my, 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 my crowning, oh God, let them regret for doubting me. Expose those who were with me just, just for the elevation. Sometimes, child of God, it's good that you elevate and you drop so that you can see who are your chummies. If you're not my friend and, and you were not there when I was, when I was down, please exit. You, you don't even have to tell them. Just, just withdraw yourself from them. Father God, let me have good speed. As the Bible says, are there not all ministering angels sent forth to minister? For them who shall be the heirs of salvation. We are the heirs of salvation. So the angels have got no other assignment. What are they supposed to be doing? The ministering angels must do their work. Yes, oh God, give the ministering angels administration of my, over my life. Let them be in charge of what they need to do in my life. So Father, this morning I continue to ask for grace. Grace, grace and more grace. Give me grace to succeed in all my endeavors, oh God. Give me grace to succeed in Jesus' mighty name. Give me grace to have a success and a good name. For you are my son and my shield. And you have promised to give me grace and you have promised to give me glory. No good thing did you say you will ever withhold from me. My God, the lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places. I have a godly heritage. So why would I be seen to be having anything otherwise? My God, give me divine speed. I activate this thing. I activate divine speed. All better off devil. This thing is going for divine speed. This divine speed is activated whether you like it or not in Jesus' mighty name. Are we still praying PBP? Ayaba kodi abasata. Father of mercies, God of mercy, Lord of mercy, daddy, come through for me. Rescue me from the path of destruction that wants to slow me down. Rescue me from the path of delays. God bless you. Rescue me. Let your mercies come unto me, even the salvation according to your word. I need the salvation, oh God, from destruction. I need deliverance from all these plagues, my God. Whatever has been trying to enter my house, oh God, fortify my cities, oh God. Bring me into the mountains of love. Bring me into the mountains of protection. Give me mountains of abundance, oh God. Give me mountains of plenty. Give me mountains of favor. Give me mountains of grace, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I commit all my ways into your hands, my God. I commit all my ways, everything that I have, oh God. I know when you breathe divinity into it, it's going to be explosive. It's going to be amazing. I commit all my ways. I commit all my affairs. 
help me to move on to success with and in all I do in Jesus name Father bless me bless the works of my hands every single one of them let nothing be cut short I pray for divine grace divine speed this morning bless it with speed the works of my hands that is your prayer my god the works of my hands let it be blessed with speed divine speed divine progress in the name of jesus father i still stand on your word that i'm still going to be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth fruit in its season i'm not going to miss it god i can't just be a fruit 12 12 months of the year and do not bear anything everything is seasonal my god whether i i whether i'm an avocado or I'm a strawberry i'm not missing it whatever i need to bear fruit it must come to pass my leaf shall never wither father god let me not look like whatever i may be going through whoever might be looking at me and saying I look shabbily. Oh my God, let them not see that. Kado basho. Nobody will see my tears. Nobody will see what I've gone through this year. They must see me shining. They must see my leaf ever being green in Jesus' mighty name. They must see me prospering in whatever I will do in Jesus' mighty name. Are you praying, saints? I will prosper in whatever I do. I will bear fruit. I am part of the vine. I have to bear fruit. What are you saying? This tree is watered. This tree shall bear fruit in Jesus' mighty name. As I continue to pray for everyone under the sound of my voice right now, I pray that the Lord shall inspire your plans. I pray that the Lord shall inspire your choices. I pray that the Lord shall inspire your decisions from when you start them until the place where they end. You will stay clear of frustrations as you go. No frustrations. Somebody decreed and declared it. No fr frustrations on this path. I will not encounter frustrations. My path is cleared from the start to the finish. My path is cleared. I'm inspired. Everything is by the inspiration of heaven, inspiration of God. My path is clear. No frustrations allowed. No frustrations allowed. No frustrations allowed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, as I pray, I prophesy that everybody who's under the sound of my voice, the, 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 they will have the wisdom of the spirit to dominate. I prophesy wisdom to dominate. Dominate, dominate. The spirit of wisdom will dominate your thoughts the spirit of wisdom will dominate your thinking. The spirit of wisdom will dominate your words. So much so that you, you, you shall be so inspired in the projects that you undertake. Even at work, when they ask you to, to do a project, they must just see the beauty of it unfolding. They must be wondering, why did we not call you into this thing in the start? Why did we not know that there was somebody who was going to bring a solution? I prophesy into your lives, PBP, and everybody listening to the sound of my voice right now. Divinity shall breathe upon your project. Divine speed is coming to your project. Your mouth shall speak of wisdom. Your mouth shall speak of solutions that nobody else could have come up with. The meditation of your heart shall speak of understanding. You will have an understanding of the times and understanding of the solutions that are required in Jesus' mighty name. And as we continue to pray, I pray that the Lord will send a gentle wind. The gentle wind of the Spirit is blowing your way right now. The gentle wind of the Spirit is pushing you up right now.
is pushing you up right now. You are being pushed up the hills of progress. You are being pushed up on the hills of progress. God bless you, Mishosa. You are being pushed up by the hills of progress in Jesus' mighty name. See the hand of the Lord. I see the hand of the Lord holding you and pulling you through, pulling you through from stagnation, pulling you through the seasons that you seem to have been stuck in. He's pulling you through. I prophesy that the Lord shall bring you into powerful relationships, relevant relationships and relevant associations that will be for your growth and your progress. I place an embargo on any relationship that will slow you down. I place an embargo on any relationship or any association that is useless and that is not going to bring you success. Father, bring us into the destiny that you have ordained for us. The Lord shall bring you into a destiny ordained relationship. Even the ones that are telling you that they love you. Father, if you did not ordain them, let them scatter. Let them run and flee. Let them even lose our number and forget our number. Lord, bring me into a relationship with people that are interested in helping me climb the ladder. They will push me on this ladder of success. They must push me on this ladder of success because they want good things for me. Lord, open my eyes to see. I need to see relevant people. Let me acknowledge those that have pushed me up until now. Let me acknowledge that more shall still push me up in Jesus' mighty name. Push my eyes, open up my eyes to see and recognize those people that you are sending my way that are relevant, that are destiny helpers. Let me not be stupid and foolish to miss them. Let me not be stupid so preoccupied that I miss out on their gestures, their opportunities that they present. Let my mind be on point and click. You must click. When somebody is presenting an opportunity, you know there are conversations that you will sit in and somebody will mention something and you do, it, it, it doesn't have to be a setup to say, I'm bringing you this opportunity. Somebody can actually drop something while they are busy talking, ordinary conversation. And suddenly, they've planted a business idea that you are supposed to move on very fast. Somebody can be sitting and telling you their frustrations, how something did not work in their life. And you know the answer of what could have made it work. And God is actually talking indirectly to you and telling you, see, activate fast. This one was caught napping, did not click. Father, let me have comprehension. Let me comprehend. Let this medulla work. This medulla must work. It, it, there must be a click. Let me not miss it. Open my eyes, oh God. Let your angels go to walk before me. Prepare the way for me. Make sure that I'm at the right place at the right time. Right circumstances for the meeting that I'm about to step into. Everything must fall into place in the name of Jesus. With the helpers that you have set up for me, my God. The helpers that are set up for my lifting. Somebody is set up for your lifting. Can you pray that please? I'm set up for this lifting. I'm set up for this lifting. My path shall be crossed by the power of God. As you go on this journey in this week, the power of God shall cross your path in Jesus' mighty name. God shall orchestrate his wisdom and power to work for you. He said to you, the Lord before whom I walk will send his angel with you and prosper your way. And go Bahashota, when he was talking to Abraham, hallelujah, said, you shall take a wife for my son. You must not miss it. Sometimes the people that you are looking for, even to for settlement, they don't look like the package you thought. But it takes wisdom to unravel the diamond, to see the potential in a person that's going to push you forward. I'm set up for lifting. Yes, Zodwa. 
you are definitely set up for lifting in Jesus' mighty name. You are set up for lifting. Lord, give us the grace to stay hooked up on you. Let me, if I'm going to be high on anything, let me be high on God. Let me stay hooked up on the plan of God. I'm not going to mind the test of the devil, the test and trials that are trying to shift me off, that, that are trying to make me shift from the path that God, I don't have time for test and trials that as you test and trial, you are a weakling. You are joking. I have the grace of God. I have the grace of God to stay hooked up on this thing. The Lord will push you forward as you continue. Kadoba Abaha. The Lord will push you forward even when you refuse to move. There will be a compel, a, a, something compelling by the Spirit of God to move. If Even when the day you don't feel like moving and you feel like giving up and you feel like slowing down, the Lord will compel your spirit. Your spirit man will become restless until you move. Anyone slowing you down must be trampled on very fast. You shall not be stopped by fear. You shall not be stopped by ignorance. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is setting you up this morning. You are being set up for a lifting. Mercy will make a way for you. Mercy will make a way for you. Let me talk to those people that keep on blaming yourself. You keep on seeing just misery, 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 misery. There's somebody I'm talking to right now. Sometimes we think that when we come like, oh, child of God, let me, let me help you. That pity party can only last for so long. That pity party can only last for so long. You're going to have to stand up and dust yourself. It's not motivational speaking that I'm doing here. You have to fulfill scripture. You have to dust yourself from the pity party. Yeah, it's nice to cry. We, we mourn and we, we go into denial and we accept. And, the, and then you have to dust yourself. Mercy must speak for you, mama. Mercy must make a way for you. Mercy must make a way for peace in your life and prosperity. At some point, you have to make up your mind whether you are going to decide to agree with the word of God or you're going to dispute the word of God. So I pray for you this morning that the Lord will give you strength. And don't think for one minute, I don't need it. I have to, as I'm praying right now, I'm praying God gives me strength that I also don't give up. Give me strength. Bless me with peace. Not anxiety. Medication is expensive, God. I don't want stress. I don't want anxiety. I need peace. Bless me with peace. Oh, Shakura Bahasata. <clears throat> Send me good speed. Send me good speed. I declare and prophesy over your life as I close right now that the Lord shall give you speed in triplicates. You shall no longer drag nor be under the forces of speed killers. You will burst through every barrier. You will burst through every barrier, every limitation. You will burst through every satanic roadblock. I pray and prophesy over your life. That every evil cloud of limitation, you are bursting through it in Jesus' mighty name. I truly wish I had believers who could shout amen. An amen that is convincing, an amen that is truthful. I see you bursting through every evil cloud. From now on, you will gain speed. You will gain speed in the area of marriage. You will gain speed in the area of business. You will gain speed in the area of your career. As you step out today, the power of divine speed shall take hold of you. Whatever overtook you before now, 
I command you to overtake now by fire. The unction on my life, the anointing, the oil on my life, by that oil, I command you to overtake by fire. That thing that overtook you must not be permitted to linger anymore. Whatever was slowing down your life was slow around your life. My God, I prophesy that it shall begin to gain astronomical speed. Right now, I prophesy astronomical speed on that thing that was slow around your life in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for those of you who are students and in the academics, whether you are doing your PhD, master's, or even your junior degree, or you are even in high school. I pray that you will enjoy divine speed in your academics in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for you this morning that you will enjoy divine speed in your travel quest that you are embarking on in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord shall give you speed in all your desires, oh God. Whatever you are believing him for, whatever your heart is pumping for, you will receive divine speed. <clears throat> I prophesy that you will no longer be behind, but you shall be in front in Jesus' mighty name. I prophesy over your life, PVP, and everyone under the sound of my voice that you will no longer descend, but you will ascend above your competitors. You will be above your peers. You will begin the ascension point. From now on, there must only be an acceleration upwards. I know that when they draft these graphs, they say it is the time to go up, go down. But right now, I prophesy a divine acceleration. A divine ascension for you. Above your competitors, above your adversaries in Jesus' mighty name. This is the day. The Spirit of the Lord says, this is the day, this is the time. This is the day, this is the time. This is the year. No force of hell can do anything to hold you back. No force of hell can, 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 can restrict what is about to be announced by fire. Thank you, Jesus. You will have the encounter you require. The Lord is sending you divine speed in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord give you an encounter that, that, that will cause men to, to, to stop and pause and have a comma, the longest comma of their life, trying to understand how is it that you fulfilled what you could fulfill in the time frame that you fulfilled in Jesus' mighty name. Time can be a disadvantage if a man is lacking grace for speed, but time is not an issue for you because he's a God of time. He is time himself. Your destiny shall no longer be deferred. I stamp the seal of the blood of Jesus. I come against any deferment, any unfulfillment that you have missed. You will not miss your timing. You will not miss your manifestation in the name of Jesus. And if you are truly, truly in agreement with me, I want you to shout that amen three times in the comment section as you continue to shout it seven times verbally where you are standing right now. Amen and amen and amen and amen and amen and amen and amen. So shall it be. It can never be otherwise. The devil cannot have a comment on it. Nobody can have another thing. There is no ellipsis dots here. There is no continuation. It is sealed. It is done in Jesus' name. Oh, my father, my father, thank you. The grace for on time, on time release, we receive it. Somebody open up your mouth and begin to thank God right now. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God bless you, my darlings. Thank you so much for coming, allowing me to be in your living room, allowing me to be in your car. Allowing me to be with you in your workplace. Allowing me to be with you on your journey back home as you go and rest. And I pray and I know that God will not disappoint you in Jesus' mighty name. Make sure you don't miss our date tomorrow morning. 5 a.m. South African Standard Time. 5 a.m. Synchronize your clocks. Make sure you have clicked the subscribe button. Make sure you have clicked the follow button. Make sure you click let me receive all notifications so that I don't miss it. But just in case the platform you are watching me from re 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 or re or forgets to remind you, 
that you at least don't forget because you've got an alarm clock and you've got a date with God. Remember, it's not just me. You've got a date with God. 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. May you have a beautiful, beautiful day, my darlings. Full of the speed of God. And may you continue to shine. Thank you so much for the opportunity and the privilege to speak into your life. I don't take it for granted. And I know that my God will never disappoint you in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Have a beautiful day.